Israel paid the stupidest person to represent them. Destiny admitting he's been paid by Israel is not a surprise, but it's hilarious considering his recent performance. 1.1k likes. Four thousand likes. What do you mean? Yeah, of course. Ever since I started the Israel Palestine arc, I've gotten so many connections. Um, I've gotten like new payment processors. Um, I get like a lot. Of I'm hitting like every single anti-Semitic meme. The payment processors, the supporters. Didn't I use the word? Did I say Julumni? Julumni? <laughs> Bro, how? There's a lot of people that were, there's a lot, of, a lot of organizations that kind of like send me revenue and they treat me like talking points or whatever, or they'll like recommend me like books. They don't like control what I say on stream, of course, but they'll like say- And then I even do the like, well, it's not like they tell me what to say. They just give me all the talking points and I have an option. <laughs> just like, hey, you should take a look at this. And then, you know, and then they also sound like a decent chunk of change. I was like, well, if you're gonna pay me, you know, like 30,000 new shekels or whatever, why the fuck would I not take- <laughs> I get paid in shekels? <laughs> to look at the material that you want me to read and repeat on stream. And also part of this is connecting me to kind of like a network of, they call them the Jalumni. It's like- <laughs> No shot! Alumni, but for Jews, I guess. And then in these Jalumni, imagine you kind of have the, uh, like the war room, okay? But it's not actually the war room. They call the Andrew Tate war room? All of the new Yeshuv on Discord. <laughs> the new Yeshuv? And in this Discord, there's a whole bunch of like really powerful Jewish people that I have access to if I want to chat with them about any particular issue. And Shapiro, obviously, and the other co-owner of uh, the Daily Wire in there. And after my Candace Owens conversation, yeah, I reached in there. I was like, Ben, what the f Like this lady is like slandering me on fucking Twitter. Can you do something about this? And he'll tap his Jewish contacts. He'll see how receptive I've been to some of the money that they kind of like funneled to me. Told you like talking point shit related to Israel Palestine. And then he said, feels like I checked out. And then, yeah. Did you really message Ben? What do you mean? Yeah, of course. Ever since I started the Israel Palestine arc, I've gotten so many connections. Um, I've gotten like new payment processors. Um, I get like a lot of. There's a lot of people that were, there's a lot, of, a lot of organizations that kind of like send me revenue and they treat me like talking points or whatever, or they'll like recommend me like books. They don't like control what I say on stream, of course, but they'll like suggest like, hey, you should take a look at this. And then, you know, and then they also sound like a decent chunk of change. I was like, well, why, if you're gonna pay me, you know, like 30,000 new shekels or whatever, why the fuck would I not take a look at the material that you want me to read and repeat on stream? And also part of this is connecting me to kind of like a network of, they call them the Jalumni. It's like alumni, but for Jews, I guess. And then in these Jalumni, imagine you kind of have the, uh, like the war room, okay? But it's not actually the war room. They call it the new Yeshuv on Discord. And in this Discord, there's a whole bunch of like really powerful Jewish people that I have access to if I want to chat with them about any particular issue. And Shapiro, obviously, and the other co-owner of uh, The Daily Wire in there. And after my Candace Owens conversation, yeah, I reached in there. I was like, Ben, what the fuck? Like this lady is like slandering me on fucking Twitter. Can you do something about this? And he'll tap his Jewish contacts. He'll see how receptive I've been to some of the money that they kind of like funneled to me to look at like talking point shit related to Israel Palestine. And then he said, feels like I checked out. And then, yeah. <laughs> Are we good? Is that enough for a clip? No, I didn't talk to anybody about fucking Candace Owens, you fucking retard. Why the fuck did I do that? No. Our boy Peter Coffin fell for it. This is one of the reasons why I got big on the internet is because you guys on the left absolutely suck at confrontation. You're not willing to defend any of your ideas. You can't substantiate anything outside of like a huge video circle jerk. And all you do is you mischaracterize the out of everybody that disagrees with you. This is why I got popular. It's because I filled a void that none of you were able to do. Okay, so what you've done here, yeah? shut the f*** up. What you've done here is you've made me tired. People like myself get called a grifter while people who literally go on their stream and admit that they take money and the results is the things that they say. F***ing silly. Remember Peter? The ball kicker guy? The groin kicker himself. <laughs> Peter Coffin. Come on, Peter, let me see. All right, here we go. <laughs> Kim Iverson, we debated her once or twice. Is this real? Is it is it real? Is this a is this real? Who is this? Socialist MMA, 753, like not as many of those. Desi admits he's paid to spread Israeli propaganda. I assume most people, the platform that is hardcore pro-Israel are paid off. Zionism, Zionism is intellectually, morally, and legally indefensible. This Nico guy got 7.6 thousand. 
It's because I everybody told you in this happened. room probably uses Amazon Prime. Everybody in this room probably buys shit off Amazon. Everybody in this room probably uses Amazon Video. Like we know why these companies become huge because they offer That's... products that everybody in society uses. No, no, I just. If you want to no, talk no. about repealing an individual I just law, to if you, you want to talk about repealing said, an individual please. law, Destiny blatantly admits on his stream that he's being paid. In one case, thirty thousand shekels to spew pro-Israel propaganda. Everything the scripter has said about Israel-Palestine since October seventh, the day he started paying attention, has been for a revenue. Color me shocked. How much is thirty thousand new shekels even worth? <laughs> to USD, eight thousand dollars. <laughs> Proof that Zionists don't just buy politicians. They also buy inf proof, by the way. They buy influencers to spout their propaganda. What did I call it? Uh, they call them the Jalumni. <laughs> like, people listened to this and thought this was... <laughs> Message Ben. A network of... They call them the Jalumni. It's like... <laughs> Bro. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I'm being told that seconds after this clip, he cut saying he was kidding? Trying to verify that now. In some ways, it would be even funnier if he wasn't getting paid to be such a brainless Israel shill and get publicly spanked by Norm Finkelstein in front of the whole internet. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> What? I'm being told by who? Do you have a fucking team like that watched the next five seconds of the clip? What are you talking about? Are you being told that Jalumni is not a real thing? My sources are telling me. <laughs> I feel like I have like simultaneously the best and worst. Yeah, row gallery on the internet. Oh, haka kaka to do or whatever. You're not interrogating me. I asked you. Well, yeah, it's a debate. We're both interrogating each other, of course. <laughs> well, so I want to know. So it seems like your claim. My... It seems like you're claiming that a hierarchy cannot exist under liberalism, which I think is absolutely absurd. No, so I did not I want claim that. You're strawmanning me. Okay, I might be strawmanning you. That's why I'm giving you an opportunity right now to clarify. In 20 seconds or less, do you believe that hierarchies can exist under liberalism? He openly admits to being a cheap prostitute for hire. Two thousand likes. Can I just say, if I was a Palestinian and these were my champions, I would kill myself. Holy sh! Oh, old friend of the stream, Katie. I said this on stream the other day that I'm pretty sure Destiny is being paid for his genocide apologia, and the Destinoid in my chat said, "Paid by who?" LOL, and left. Very funny. Oh no. <laughs> I'd also like to point out that Zionists are paying Destiny. The fact that he's using a Zionist talking point to veer into anti-Semitic tropes to cloud the fact is part of it. So no, while this video is harmful to Jewish people, Jewish people are not the problem Zionists are. I'm also insulted. $8,000? You think that's what it would... You think $8,000 is getting me to sell out for Israel? Really? The... The Hamas leadership, these guys are worth eight, nine, ten figures. Supposedly, the one guy is worth like over a billion dollars. You think I'm taking eight thousand dollars to sell out? Although to be fair, I'm also not valuing the the yeah, the true value is the alumni network of Jews that I'm now a part of. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I just watched this again, and this is so on point, dog whistly, anti Semitic. I'm thinking maybe it's some crazy, dusty plot to set up people for believing in it. Either way, true or not, incredibly irresponsible in both directions. Also, I love how I told him it's anti Semitic due to the shekels thing, and he said it's not, and no one does that, and in here he's literally doing it. I just can't. Wait, I thought Katie was mad because she said I never made anti Jewish jokes. Isn't it? I thought she wanted this. I, it was a, that was a pretty good anti Jewish joke. I thought it was pretty funny. I had a whole string of them. Isn't that what, isn't hey, uh, that what these people wanted? Who, what? Is, who is this person, by the way? The Katie person. I've heard her mentioned before. She is an, an incredibly mentally unwell Tel Avivian Jew 
who is mm-hmm. very, very far left and very mentally ill. Okay. Is she anti, uh, I'm, I'm guessing, anti-Zionist and all that? No, she's anti-Jew. <laughs> she's self-hating, like a mother Interesting. Um, have you, like, debated her on your stream? Is that the reason that... A few times, yes. Is she on the, the blacklist now, or is she free to come on and discuss? Um, she, she used to be kind of on and off. I'll bring her on right now, just because it's really funny. <laughs> okay. That'd be that'd be good just to kind of see what's going on and you know, yeah, you know as a as a representative of the alumni, <sighs> the alumni. My favorite thing you know, is some you know, <laughs> some other guy responded to the thing and he's like, yeah, Justin, he mentions the I don't know if the, I can't tell what's real or not. Some guy's like, yeah, he mentioned no, the, it, this is what this the is the like Jul- Jul- Jaluminati. <laughs> this is I don't remember when I was saying before like like it, don't qualify your statements. It doesn't matter. Like this is what I mean. Like it it just like. This is the quality of enemy that you have that thinks that I mean, I don't I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I, I uh, think, again, like we only see what's going popular on the Internet. But I think there are a lot of people that see this. And no, I, I dude, do. It's like I think there are. It, no, man, no, there are a lot of people that see this and like these people are f-ing retarded. It happened with Assad. You just got to believe it. You got to believe you had to believe, Dan. Yeah, okay. but there's big people that are like, um, isn't that Kim Iverson person? Pretty yeah, but she's literally size? her brain has been rotted for seven years. My understanding is there's she's one of the largest oh, case studies. Yeah, okay. there's one of the largest case studies medically right now and researching how a person can live with so little white matter present in their brain. Okay, she's one of the um, dumbest motherfuckers on the internet, and yeah. has been for a long time. So, but yeah, I think um, I think people see it. Like this is such an obvious troll too. Like if you listen to you, like wait, did he say the? The Julumni? It, it, I know. It's like <laughs> the it's Julumni? That the the Jews are gonna be so sneaky and conspired to buy off a millionaire for seven thousand dollars to have your talking points for six months. But then also have you talk explicitly about how it's done on stream. It's exactly what they wouldn't expect. Oh. That's why you do it. And of course you're paid in new Israeli shekels because PayPal doesn't do the conversion to US dollars yep. either. You know, you know, you know how it goes. So that, that so that I can only spend them when I go back to Israel it's to keep the currency. Uh, question: Did you everything. did you get did you get the new role in the Jew Discord? Um, like, there's the one that gives you access to certain rooms, like where you can see all of the Goyim's the credit scores and everything like that. No, that? because they lock it all off. You have to send a picture to the mod to show that you've actually. They don't make you do a full on oh, circumcision, man, so but you've got to like do a little a few cuts to prove that you're like dedicated is, to the oh, cause. Yeah, I know. It's pretty that's cringe. Annoying, man. God, pretty cringe. Man. Yeah, you know the the funniest part of all this shit, the wildest shit. I've already told you before. Like, um, man, how much do I want to say without getting in trouble here? Um, I do agree. There's a lot of Jewish people that are in places of power, representative uh, to the amount of population. That's no fucking doubt. That's not a conspiracy. That's just true. Mm-hmm. However, the conspiracy is that they're all working together. Now, granted, I'm not to that fucking level or anything along those lines. But I'll tell you that any time I've ever had to do any fucking business deal or buy something or sell something, trust me, the last fucking person I want at the end of that other deal is a Jewish guy. It's not like, oh, great, I'm buying something from fucking Shlomo. It's like, oh, for fucking Christ's sake, are you shitting me? Because I know I'm going to be sitting there getting fucking nickel and dime the whole way. The idea that I'm getting like some sick fucking poggers deal because there's a Jewish guy at the end of this fucking thing, trust me, okay, I'm going to be much much happier if it's like a Franklin Stevens that I'm buying a car from than like Shlomo McEpstein any fucking day of the week. And that's a goddamn fact. So, well, there you go. Um, <sighs> yeah, there you go. I know you're just trying to throw us off your trail. I, I just, I'm not good enough, man. Um, where's, uh, so is this person going to come on? I would kind of like to Katie? see the fireworks. Yeah. No. And I'm leaving like no? 40 minutes out. So. No, I don't. I don't even know if we debate again after our last debate. I'm not sure. Um, why is Dan so anti-Semitic? You know, it's just built in. You know, self-hating and all that shit. It's kind of wild how many people, like, clip that. <laughs> I'm even looking at what's on your stream right now. Is Dan in the fucking Discord? F- DGG, bro. You guys are always trying to throw me into the shit. You're gonna need like an entire. F- IDF brigade if you go to Israel as your f-ing security team. Why do you say that? I don't know. Are you Dude, implying you know, uh, they would kill me just for my freedom of speech online? 
yes. Um, you know who I think I'm most disappointed with? Not that I'm like super disappointed with any of the people that like posted this and believed it, but I, I think I do hold people on the left to a higher standard. Big don't mistake. You? I think I think that's fine to do. Like if you're real, is that a big mistake? You think to hold people on the left to a higher standard for like retweeting like obvious bullshit? Tell me what you mean by on the left. Like Peter Coffin. No, he's far left, tanky, retard. These people are literally Nazis, okay? You know how leftists, you ever heard the term protect, projection? You've heard that, right? You know, know leftists always say uh, that, uh, leftists always say that the um, liberal liberalism gives way to fascism. Like they'll say that over and over again. I don't know if you know this, but in the history of the world, okay, it's the communists that worked with the Nazis and it's the liberals that defeated the fascists. It's exactly the opposite. It is uh, Molotov Ribbentrop or whatever the fuck. Uh, it was the deal that the Soviets made with Hitler to cut Poland up. It was the KBD and the early Nazi party working together to overrule uh, and take over and, and defeat the SP the, um, the Sock Dems in, in uh, Germany. It was America and the liberal world order that came in and defeated the fascists. This idea that like liberalism gives way to fascism when you can see it online, it happens today. It's funny, the red-brown alliance with, with Hassan amplifying Nazi accounts to f shit on me. <laughs> like, it's a history repeat. It doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. Okay. I hate these people. But no, I have no. When you say like the left, like, I don't think center left people, for, apparently, center left people just don't use the f internet. I don't know where the f they are. Do you know where, where are center left havens on the internet? Do you have any fucking idea? I have no idea. We're on Facebook. Oh, I don't. Yeah, at, is that where they at, are? Looking, we're, looking at, we're looking at cat photos. That's what we're doing. Yeah. I'm also starting to, um, now that I'm not doing ultra heavy research, okay, so I've kind of moved off the Israel-Palestine shit, although I'll still do debates on it, but bro, I feel like if I was a, if I was a Jew, if I had to hear one more time, like, anti-Zionism and anti-Semitism are totally different, I feel like that's just like the, that's like the, the Jew-Arab version of white people being like, yeah, well, I can say the N-word and it's not racist at all. <laughs> it's like, it feels like the same type of conversation. What, let me, I... <laughs> I, I mean, we talked about this a little bit on the, um, on the podcast, but like, real question, if you had to define Zionism in one sentence, what would it be for you? Well, are you asking me personally? I'm asking you. Me personally? You personally. Zionism yes. is the belief that Jews should have a state. Okay. So if you asked uh, like 10 Jewish people randomly in America that question, what do you think the responses would be? percentage wise um my guess would be that seven of them would give my definition no 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 not no no you're, you're misunderstanding i'm not saying oh, how would they define zionism basically you would say if you ask 10 jewish people hey should israel exist or or something like that what do you think the 10 jewish people in america would say across all demographics my, my jews, guess jews in america yeah i don't know my guess would be between six to eight of them would agree with that Maybe a little like more? Nine or Maybe higher. seven and nine? You think nine, nine or higher? percent yeah. That's a rough thing to say, to ask like a Jewish person and say, hey, do you think Israel should exist? Like, And for them to be like, oh, no, definitely not. It's like, well, okay, well, where would you like the Jews to go? Because, I mean, that's the next question. So, yeah, I mean, it is, listen, it's definitely um, a way to say it. It's like the new way to say it, I guess. Like, um, like there was a, for a while people using like thugs inter <laughs> as like a way of doing that. Like there's like Zion. Like I don't like Zionists very much. Like oh, okay, well that's like kind of ninety percent of Jews. But mm -hmm. you know you're not you don't want you're not racist towards Jews or anything. Just also the characterization, them. and I don't know if I just I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's being a Republican for so long that I get like this weird sixth sense for like weird racist stuff. Did you see my debate at all with uh, Jank? Do you know Jank from the Young Turks? Yeah, that sounds like yeah, I saw I saw the debate. Yeah. I wish I had a clip of this on hand, but when he's like talking about how Israel wages war against uh, the Gaza Strip, and he's like, when the IDF murders innocent Palestinians and they love to see them die, they love to kill innocents. And I'm like, this feels kind of weird, bro. <laughs> or when I'm arguing with people and I'm like, you understand that for like a strike cell, you know that there must've been like five to 10 different people at least, and a lawyer that probably signed off on this particular attack. You're saying that all of these people in the IDF just said that they want to murder four innocent children for no, and, and the other person I'm talking to be like, yes, yes, they did. Yes, yes. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, that, 
That feels a little strange. That's a that's a really strong statement to make, but okay. Okay. It feels a little weird, but all right. Yeah. I, I don't know. Like, it just has to be that, like, Jews have um, become successful, I guess. I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, that's like, the, and there's not that many of them. That's it. Like, there's not a lot of conspiracies about, like, I guess Chinese people, like oh. you know, they're pretty, they're pretty high, high IQ. You want know, me to give you a success? But he, here's a uh, here's a huge macro world take. Get ready. This is probably wildly ahistorical, and this might be wildly, uh, completely fucking wrong. Okay, because I'm gonna also sure. pull from a. There's a book called Guns, Germs, and Steel that everybody fucking critiques for different reasons. But one of the arguments that the author makes in the beginning is that um, if you were if you were an early like nomadic people or tribal people or whatever, if you were incredibly successful at hunting, you got punished harshly for it. And I think the example he gives is it might be aboriginals in Australia, but basically if you were really good at hunting, you might hunt into extinction all of the beasts of burden on your particular landmass, And if you kill all of them, when your people upgrade to where they're able to actually use beasts of burden to transfer large things around, when you start agriculture, you actually fuck, you fucked yourself. You become a victim to some extent of your success. And one of the interesting things that I've read about Jews, about your people, is that um, after the destruction of Israel, after the fall of the kingdom of David, after Rome and everybody else basically fucked you guys in the ass, that Jews were kind of like, okay, well, we don't get a country anymore. Uh, what kind of meme about, what's the stupid thing you guys say tomorrow in Jew Jerusalem or some bullshit or some saying? Do you know what I'm talking uh, about? Well, during Passover, you say next year in Jerusalem if you're... Yeah, some Jerusalem. yeah, whatever dumb shit like this. Basically, Jews basically resign themselves like, okay, well, we're never gonna have a country, fuck us, so we're just gonna like try to learn to thrive in every other country that we're in and we'll figure our shit out that way. So things like um, whether it was usury, uh, you know, like banking stuff, education, you know, close cultural connections, whatever the fuck, that Jews were basically like, okay, well, we're gonna survive this way. But when you look at the other people that were far more successful, like undoubtedly, if you start at the 1900s and you go earlier and you compare uh, like Muslim conquest to, to Jewish conquest, it's not even fucking close. Um, uh, Arabs and Muslims, you, you know, the caliphates, the Ottoman Empire, these massive caliphates, spanning so much land, so many people. You had the Islamic golden age of art, literature, math, all of this success. And you know what they say, great times create weak men. Uh, and you get into this world to where, um, I think that when these countries and these people become so successful, the, the success kind of defeats them, or I guess it weakens them in a way. And then now you move into modern day where, um, now I'm getting more specific. When the Jews get their own country in Israel, they're like, oh shit, it's time to get fucking real. We've got our own place now. We have all of these positive like cultural things. We can ship money from all over the fucking world to our people that have survived uh, in every other country despite people trying to kill us over and over again. And now we've got like all these Western backed ideas. We've like trained in like the fucking World War One, World War II militaries. We're gonna go to Israel and fight. And all the Arab armies are like, okay, well, we've had like a caliphate spanning however fucking long for however many fucking hundreds of years. We don't know how to promote generals. We don't really know how to do battle tactics. We really don't know how to do fucking anything except lose over and over and over and over again. Uh, I kind of wonder sometimes how much that played into the narrative of like everything that is formed today. That's an incredibly macro overview, but. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think it's a combination of success, small amounts of people, and also the illusion of exclusivity. Like, you know, um, I guess with with other religions, there's a lot of um, what do you call it pros proselytizing, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, and that's not like a big thing um, in Judaism. So maybe there's part of that, like oh they're better than us or something like that. I don't fucking know. It's all cringe shit, but yeah, yeah, true. yeah, yeah, true. So what's the next light subject that you're going to move on to? Like, is there anything possibly more inflammatory and like murderous that you can possibly like start? What could you possibly cover next that would make more people hate you? That's what I. That's what I want to know. Um, well, the next big thing is going to be the uh, election stuff. I think that I feel like that's a step back as far as death threats. You I mean, I don't know if anything to take this to a 12 out of 10. I don't know if anything 11 out of 10. Yeah, I don't know if anything is going to match Israel Palestine in terms of people getting upset about shit. Oh shit, hold on. Hey Destiny, I've been wanting to get more into politics recently and I've always agreed with the majority of your takes. In your opinion, what's the best way to start researching for a new topic that you're looking to get educated on? Boke and Ron, thank you. I don't know, read the wiki then start googling articles. <laughs> um there really isn't much that's more inflammatory, right? I think this is probably it. This is probably the apex of inflammatory topics because you're fighting against like the entire 
Muslim world, right? Plus all the crazy hardcore lefties. So you're fighting against like a huge number people, of people, plus super, the people that are really active. Right. Super far right, super far left. Yeah. You know, you know one thing I was wondering, right? And this is interesting as a as a. So like you know, I was saying like there's not a lot of conspiracies about like Chinese people, right? Even though they're like you know China as a whole is very rich, very successful. Um, Chinese people have very high IQ on, I think they do at least, um, on average. Is it, like, when you get to a certain point, does there naturally become divisions inside of your culture that, like, does a culture want to split? Does that make sense? Like, um, how do I put this? Um, I'm understanding what you're saying. I think it has to do with, like, facing a common enemy. When you're of a small enough size, and you've got like people that you're fighting against, you're like super united. When you get big enough, then you kind of like turn against yourselves because you become so yeah, big, like that's, there's that's no how, external threats. That's how it threats. feels, right? Yeah, like it, it, it gets to a certain US. point and it's like, you know, now they're the enemy. Like, I guess, yeah, even in the US, it's like half the country is is the Republican, uh, you know, dummies and the other half is the liberal fucking bleeding heart, uh, you know, college liberal arts students, right? So like, that's like the, division we have here is that just naturally always going to be the case that in any type of environment of any size and value that there's just going to be splits that are created in it i guess i don't know it feels kind of annoying if that's true but you know the other the other thing is it feels like the most effective Wait. way hmm? sure i still think destiny's openness about him not reading isn't a good look regardless of others hey dip I have read more than literally every single other fucking retard in this space. I have never encountered a person in a debate who is so well read that they bury me on a topic. There might be like people in academia or there might be students or people that read more than me on particular topics. I have not encountered a single one of them in a debate. If you are well read on a topic, you don't establish that by going into a debate and saying, I've read 10,000 books. You do it by showing your knowledge. If I'm able to ascertain uh, or, or figure out situations better than other people who supposedly read 20, 40, 50 books or whatever, you should probably stop reading reading and, and go do a comprehension course or get blackpilled on IQ, go take a test, realize that it's 97 and then just stop debating people because you're gonna be too retarded to ever succeed in the arena, okay? F fuck out of here with this bullshit. I read, a, if there's like a book I need to read or if there are books I need to read on things, I'll do it. But I don't just read Wikipedia. I'm literally streaming every single day. You can see me read news articles, you can see me read papers, you can see me read these fucking UN reports, you can see me, fuck you, okay? And suck my dick, okay? Because my cum will be the smartest thing that's ever been in your body, you retarded moron. Sorry, what'd you say? I talked to Rem today and he said, um, we were having a conversation about, you know, philosophical stuff, because that's the type of stuff I like to talk about. And he said that we should try to tone it down on the bad language. And I agree that, you know, Which there was a time language? that, like saying retarded and autistic and things like that, we've gotten too fast and loose. And I think that we should, we should make a conscious effort to set an example for our audience instead of going true full bad, you know? Okay. We can do better. I, I here's agree. the real thing. I feel like we can come up with better uh, insults that are also more damaging. Like, for instance, no, this this is actually bad. I was going to say bonus chromosome, but then I realized I'm just doing more of the same. But that does sound better, though, right? Bonus chromosome? Yeah. I mean, aren't we saying the same thing, though? Yeah, I, I, that's why I was just saying. Like, that's actually not better in that case. I've tried this. Find me a better... Find me a replacement for retard and we can do it, okay? I'm... Yeah, I'm going to... It does, it really flows off the tongue, and I understand that. I just, um, yeah, I don't know. There's there's definitely, there's stuff out there. We need like a, uh, we need a Reddit thread with suggestions where we can go through them and really see what flows naturally, you know? Yeah. Um, SPED doesn't count either because that just is short shorthand for special education. Um, also, some things, some of those feel worse to me. I don't like, like SPED feels bad. My kid yeah, in an does. IEP for a while because of the speech stuff and saying like special education feels like mean, <laughs> but like, I don't feel like if I say like retarded, I don't know, that doesn't feel mean. Maybe if I had actually, maybe if Nathan actually had Down syndrome, maybe I'd feel different. I'm not sure. Wait, well, I mean, yeah, I don't know. What did, what was retarded? Was that Down syndrome? Um, I think it was all sorts of anything that would uh, be de cause developmental delays, basically. Like, would you call, uh, God, this like, 40 years ago, when they used the word retarded, uh, like a lot, like that was the in the medical word. Like if you had autism, would you be retarded? I have no idea, I'm not sure. I don't know either. I mean, to retard means literally to slow down, right? Delay. Mm -hmm. So you might, they might be like, oh, they had retarded speech 
or something, but they or wouldn't like be mental, like, oh yeah. Well, I don't know if you oh, say Steve's a retard. They wouldn't be like that. I think it'd be like mental retardation, right? Mentally retarded. You're me you're mentally delayed. Sure. Um. Okay. Interesting. Um. Man, it it just. I'm still kind of sad. I don't. I expect more from people on the left. I honestly do. We should we should have a day off stream where we just come up with a ton of fucking fire insults. Yeah, that would be good. Like you know, there's like you're a few fries short of a happy meal. Like I bet we could think of a ton that of things. Is a, like that is that is a good one. The problem is remembering them all. No, no, no. But know? like it, we we should come up with new ones. You're like a three wheeled oh, car, or you're like like just like random. We should just like go through like a million things. You know. You know we could come up with some bangers too. We could. We've done it. Uh, oh, you're sure. like a grill with no charcoal. Like a like just like we just write down like five hundred oh, of these. That, that's already that's already good there too. And it and it hurts. That cuts deep. Like yeah. You're having we got to figure these out. Yeah. And you're like, you know, Norm, you're just a fucking grill without the fucking charcoal. Boom. You're really yeah. you're all substance. We just need to make no facts. You know, it's like oh my god, ouch, that hurts. You know, but we, we can do, do that better. Yeah. I don't know. if We don't need a day. We can link up with some good ones, but a three-cylinder engine. I mean, I think BMWs have a three-cylinder. Isn't the i8 three-cylinder? Three that's too complicated. People won't, don't even know what a cylinder is. It's not worth it. <laughs> yeah, but the i8 it. is like a supercar. I think it's a three-cylinder. Like half electric, half... Man, maybe it's not. Fuck. Your imbecility um, is on display. You're like a bald man with no hat. Yeah, that's good. You're like a beanie-less Tim Pool. Too You're niche. a too payless Trump. We need to get it. We we we'll write down like five hundred of these. Too, we can do these. Too, that one's too um, political in nature. Do you know what I was thinking about, dude? Yeah. I feel like with the knowledge that you have, or at least even with the knowledge that I have, I feel like you could write a fucking book on like overthrowing countries. <laughs> I don't think so. I think so. I feel like they're like at this point, it's like, okay, first step, you find the people on the far right and the far left, and you divide them in half by saying they're not extreme enough, right? And then you create those guys. And you the issue make is that even like more extreme ones. The issue is it's like and you tear it apart. We can do inside. really, really, really good analysis in retrospect, but figuring out what things are going to look like in the future is like transactional analysis. Like it feels like you can figure it out, but in reality, you might have no idea how a particular thing turns out. I mean, doesn't it feel like? other countries and even us when we fuck with people that we're not fucking with like um and i say us as in like the united states but we're not fucking with like oh we're fucking with democrats it's like we're fucking with like you know the the extreme far left party or the extreme far right party of some country uh and giving them funding it's never like oh yeah we're giving funding to like the democrats of nebraska it's like we're giving funding to the radical uh free uh whatever you know government for a new sudan and it's like okay what are these guys about oh i see they're a little wild like that's what we always do and it seems like when people fuck with america they're do it seems like they're doing the same thing it's not like they're elevating um fucking don lemon you know they're elevating like the jackson hinkles and the people like that like is that literally just what we do I mean, but like, how do you actually do this? In practice, it's probably a lot harder than just- Money, I think. Like, that's it. It's literally just money. Well, I feel like if there's a book on this, I feel like it's probably already being circulated at the Kremlin <laughs> between all the uh, KGB assets or the CIA, so. I guess, I don't know. I'm, as I was saying, I'm still disappointed. I still like, I have like more hope for people on the left. They're supposed to be like, I guess I would say the people on left, like, okay, of scientists that are out there, how would you say the, if you, if you polled a hundred average random quote unquote scientists in America, how many of them do you think would be, um, Republican versus Democrat? Um, when you say scientist, are you including like sociology researchers, like human, like people that work in anthropology? STEM. STEM is probably going to skew a bit more. Cons I don't even know. I honestly don't know. Really? You think STEM is going to skew conservative? Really? No, I don't. I have no idea. I truly have no idea. I was going to say, I was going to feel like there was going to be a heavy uh, leftist. Because the thing is, it. is that like you can say that like STEM. Like, look at like Twitter employees yeah, I know. or yes, shit like that. Congratulations. Yeah. That's where I was going. Yeah. 
for people working yeah. in computer science, if you're working on like the West Coast and shit, you're probably gonna be more likely to be love leaning, yeah. Um, so I don't know, I have no idea. So if it's like, yeah, I don't know. Where was I going with this again? Um, yeah, so I expect more from people on the far left because I'm expecting that you've gone to college, that you've been educated. Like, not that, j just to be clear, um, the fact that you're like a handyman or a carpenter or a plumber does not take away from your very valid real opinions on how America is. And they, they are valid and they should be listened to. Um, that said, I just, I don't know. I feel like if you've studied for four years, especially having to do with something with like political science or something, to just retweet such obvious disinformation just because it suits your narrative is just, I don't know, it just seems fucked, you know? It's like, and the thing that bothers me the most is they don't care, of course, right? It's like, they're not losing sleep, but it's just funny. It's like, haha, you know? I, I try to think to myself, am I a victim of doing this as well? And I feel like there's probably been times that I've been a victim of doing it, but I, I try and I hope I'm not. Like a good example of this is like, I feel like I've probably said, did, did Trump really think that a stealth fighter was invisible? Did I think really I think on that, I think he did, I did. I do think he thought that. And, and, am I, like, are we being right now um, not charitable to Trump, or did he really suggest? That I don't people, think. I don't yeah, think Trump know. wanted us to inject bleach in our veins. I think that was like him kind of like being hyperbolic. And if you listen to him talk, though, he doesn't. He doesn't really. I don't think he's really saying that. I think he was like asking a question about some dumb shit that he heard. But I don't think he wanted us to inject bleach in our veins. I do think he believes that that stealth fighters are literally are literally invisible, like Wonder Woman's planes. Yes, I do think that. You so, you so you believe? Yeah, okay. I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's certainly possible. I guess that he does, but I feel like that's probably how people on the right look at us when we make the same comparison to them. Like, dude, why are you retweeting? This is such obvious bullshit. And they're like, well, why are you retweeting shit about Trump uh, thinking a stealth fighter is invisible? Like, that's obviously not fucking true. He's not. He's not stupid, like, or, or, you know, I was about to say something else, you know, like, so, I don't know, I think it's hard to get past our bias, but I'm still upset. I still expect more from people on the left to, to try and do better, especially when it's so fucking obvious of, of the shit, and they do it anyways. And it's just a disservice to anything. It's just like all political fucking football, man. Thursday at 6 p.m., correct? First episode? Well, like, second episode. We'll see, but yeah. No, don't, hey. I'll be here. Uh, I will be you'll here. Be there. I'll be, I'll I I live there here. Too. This is my house. I, I live here. I live here. So I you will be here. First off, lower your voice. Don't talk to me like that. Okay. I'm just confirming in a slightly more aggressive voice than I normally would. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just to confirm. Okay. I just want to make sure yep. that the six doesn't turn into an eight or I, sorry, I put it on I my schedule. I'm over. here. It's on my schedule. All right. Thursday, 6 p.m. Dan I cast. I wrote it. I will be there early for testing and everything else. Okay. Who's the, there is no guest. The guest is gonna be um, August having us figure shit out. Holy fuck, Dan is fucking annoying. How, okay, I love you, I gotta go to Long I love you though, okay? Tomorrow though, new. or- He's I'm, new, breadcrumb. He is, he is new. Stay safe, I love you babes. Bye. Bye.